they saw the guy that's why they stopped good morning you guys so we just came from dog sledding I just wanted to take the kids since you guys remember us driving around that day and we didn't get into much of anything we just pet the horses that day so um, they had dog sledding up here on base for um, $10 for adults and $5 for kids so we're like why not we just did like one little lap around the lake here so that was really fun we do five um because that's all they wanted to pull us because they don't know how many people are coming hey you guys so we made it back home from dog sledding and we stopped by a few stores tyron he picked up some food from kenny's kitchen so they're eating some sweet and sour chicken what what else kind of chicken is that there general chicken some general chicken and some shrimp fried rice. And I'm cleaning the dishes. And Kalia's over here cleaning the dishes. <laughs> you still cleaning up? We just came home, cleaned up a little bit, and now they're about to sit down and eat. What are you, why are you cleaning these though, Kalia? Let me, I'm gonna put them in the dishwasher. You want to clean this? Why do you want to? <laughs> okay, I don't, don't discourage you cleaning the dishes. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah my daughter, she wants to clean the um, kitchen. Oh, they're dirty, so you need to do something about it? Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, so they're eating, cleaning. Mariah, she's actually vacuuming the floor because she want to do that too, you guys. Um, but I'm not going to discourage, of course, because I'm trying to come upstairs right now in my little corner. It looks a mess right here. But you guys see all those colorful sticky notes? That's my little advice for any parent out there that just have their head cluttered with a whole bunch of other things going on. It's like so helpful for me to annotate like what post-it notes. That has really been such a big help for me. A lot of times people say it's good to like highlight whenever you're reading and stuff like that. But I don't necessarily like going back through it because I feel like I'm like clicking and clicking and or even flipping the pages when I can just like have it boom right there in my face and what annotating I love how like I'm writing stuff down and once I'm like done with that I can like ball it up and it gives me like a sense of peace to ball it up and throw it away I'm like okay that's one less sticky note on my wall <laughs> spread out somewhere that I have to do so that makes me feel really good and I actually have it like organized kind of <laughs> So this wall over here is like schoolwork and this wall over here is like things to do and it's kind of like future things to do and things that I need to do um, like during the day. So 
Um, it's also um, here and there I have like motivational quotes with the sticky notes. So like whatever I'm like going through within my schoolwork, it's like motivational quotes to keep me going through. So this has helped me so much with annotating and using post-it notes. So if anybody out there, you know, can, you know, start trying doing something like it, or you're looking for something to help you, motivate you, keep you on track and things like that, definitely try post-it sticky notes if you haven't done that already. Like I have them like scattered all around my computer and it just gives me a sense of peace. So I never tried something like that before and now I'm trying it, it has really helped. But yeah, you guys, we um went up to dog sledding today as you guys saw and that was like something um, that I already had planned. Like I wanted to do it yesterday. Let me go in here really quick. So I feel like you guys can hear that TV super loud in there. So I'm about to go in here in my room and talk to you guys for it. It's like raining and the snow is melting. Look at look at our um, yard in the back. Orange, yellowish right now. And there's like some nice green spots too. But I feel like it's going to turn green in no time. But yeah, it's like thawing. Yeah, although you guys see like it's melting out and the snow is almost going out of our backyard out of our backyard i still don't feel like this is the end of the snow like i feel like it's still gonna be sticking around for a little bit you know like off the rooftops and things like that and you can see the water on the um road is just like melting away but i still feel like because we came here last april we we are officially we have officially stayed in alaska for a year like we have officially had orders here in alaska for a year so last year we took leave for a month. So we were gone for a month, but we were stationed in Alaska. So we are officially here for a year now. Um, and I feel like that year went by so fast. And if you guys have been following us along our little journey here, don't you feel that way? Like comment down below if you feel like we have, like it feels like we just made it to Alaska. But yeah, we just, we've just we been here for a year and now we have three more years to go. I feel like it's going to fly by like Guam did. Like the time in Guam. No, actually I feel like the time in Guam kind of... it. I feel like I had a lot of seasons in Guam. So that's why I'm feeling like it took, it was a long time in Guam. We I feel like we've been in, we were in Guam for a while because I had a lot of different seasons, a lot of things going on with my um, personal life, if anything, you know. So I was just, I was, I feel like I was there for a while. So yeah, saying that we've been here in Alaska for a year and um, April, come April we were here and it still had like a ton of snow on the ground. So we got to see the snow, but it didn't necessarily snow. Right now you guys, I'm about to do some schoolwork, settle down since we're all getting settled, cleaning and eating and back home from our little adventure i am like a parent that i like to make sure i get out and do something make sure i paid attention to my kids and you know supported their development by getting them out and doing something fun experiencing something new this is our first time dog sledding so i feel good like my mental state of mind feels good that i can now be all in my books and ignore the world and you know not feel bad about oh my kids are doing this and i'm not there to support their development but yeah now i feel good to focus on my schoolwork and that's what i'm about to do you guys so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for traveling along with us for this little journey that we're on and different experiences i really do appreciate every one of you guys that you know comment down below thumbs up that you've been here supporting us for so long i really appreciate you so yeah comment down below and give us a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in another video hopefully you guys are enjoying our new schedule and yeah bye <laughs>